I'm extremely exhausted after today. It was a really a very long day on the river and probably spending about eight hours on the river today, including some pretty hefty portages. You have to pelt the skin to understand why the kayakers are taking uh, um, the risk. If you have problems in here, it's you might die and Shrouded in darkness and legend, the Grand Canyon of the Stikine River is the Everest of white water. For over 30 years, its menacing difficulty has lured expedition kayakers looking for the ultimate challenge. Expedition pioneer Doug Ammons soloed the canyon in 1992. He describes the Stikine as one of the most challenging kayaking runs anybody has ever found on this planet. The 45-mile canyon takes three days of arduous route finding through exploding white water at the bottom of the deep sheer walled canyon. There are dozens of grade five and six rapids with names like Entry Falls, Wasson's Hole, The Wall, and V Drive. The complex whitewater demands every skill a kayaker has. If his kayak capsizes, the paddler's life depends on him rolling back upright in the powerful rapids. He must be focused, ready for all hell to break loose, and pull himself back online, even if his lungs are bursting. Team leader, 43-year-old Olaf Obzomer, is an award-winning filmmaker and a living legend in expedition whitewater kayaking. He has collected some of the best young kayakers in the world for this descent of the Stikine. The team includes 25-year-old Sam Sutton from New Zealand, who is three-time winner of the Adidas Sickline Extreme Kayaking World Championships and known for his smoothness in the hardest rapids. Gerd Serrasolsas is from Spain, a fixture among the top kayakers with numerous first descents all over the world. <laughs> 